Welcome to Cook Your Catch. I'm Emily and today I'm going to show you how to cook creamy Tuscan salmon. Now you can pair this salmon with cauliflower, rice, or pasta. We've chosen pasta. So we've got a nice boil on our water, so we're going to pour this in and we're going to get started on our dish. All right, we're going to drizzle a little oil into our pan. There we go. And then we're going to salt and pepper our salmon. We're going to do both sides, so we'll flip it over. And then I'm going to walk these over and drop them in the pan. We're going to cook those for five minutes and then flip. I'm going to give the pasta a quick stir just to make sure it's not sticking on the bottom. All right, it's been five minutes. So we're going to give them a quick little flip. Five more minutes on the other side now. All right, it's been five minutes. It's time to pull the salmon off. All right, everybody loves salmon, but the best part of this recipe, the best part is what we're about to do, the cream base. And the key ingredient for me is the sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm gonna take these and cut these in half because I want one in every bite, if possible. So I'm gonna at least do halves. So when you pick these up, you're gonna find them in a jar. You're gonna to wanna to drain the oil, give them a little wash off before you bring them back here to cut them up. All right, there they are. Beautiful. So we're gonna mince our garlic next. All right, our garlic looks great. We're gonna move on to our onion. So this recipe calls for one small yellow onion. One more thing to do, I need to grate this Parmesan. So we're gonna grate about a half a cup, maybe a little more, is that bad if it's more? I don't think so. I think our pasta's done, so let's get that out of the pot next. Pour it in. There we go, all right, perfect. All right, let's try it. Perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this just to keep it from sticking. And we're gonna get started. We're gonna drop our butter. I'm gonna melt that down. We're gonna add the garlic. Give that a quick little stir and then add the onion. And we'll add our sun-dried tomatoes. And now we're gonna let this cook for about two minutes. So next we're gonna add our vegetable broth. So we're gonna let this simmer and reduce for a few minutes. So we've reduced this to low heat. Now we just need to add our heavy cream. So we're just gonna cook this down a little bit further and next we have a spinach coming in which is gonna add even more color and we're gonna allow this to wilt in the pan for a couple minutes. This dish is so pretty. All right, time to add the salmon. So we're gonna nestle these pieces into the pan. I'm gonna gently spoon the sauce on top of the salmon just to cover it and get that flavor all over this piece. All right, it's time to plate everything up. So we're gonna grab our pasta. Add that. 
Now we're gonna come over and first we're gonna add some sauce. The sauce is so good, we wanna make sure that we get it all over this pasta. All right, I'm gonna set this down so I can really get in here and try to get this whole piece of salmon over to my dish. Last step, we're just gonna add some Parmesan right on the top. All right, now it's time to eat. Creamy Tuscan salmon. Here it is, it's done. It's beautiful, I already know it tastes good. And the best part is those sun-dried tomatoes. That really makes the dish. You can smell that as soon as it hits the pan. All right, the last part and the best part. We've gotta taste this. So, a piece of salmon, gotta get the tomato, and some pasta. This is so, so, so good. Give this creamy Tuscan salmon recipe a try. I guarantee you're gonna love it. I'm Emily. Thanks for cooking with me on the patio today. I'll see you next time.